Okay, so this is part two. All right, we're still down, um, down Quadrant. Um, Tixon Grove. Okay, still on the left hand, on the right hand side. Um, I haven't done this as a, you know, pull up on the right hand side and then reverse back to Khaled's. I just wanted somewhere to stop nice and safely to split this into, into segments for you. Okay, so we're gonna carry on down the road and we're imagining that say we had been pulled up on the right hand side the pull up on the right hand side is is there for precisely this type of reason okay say we pulled up on the right hand side we've gone into our house mm. and then when we come back out there's a big black transit van in front of us mm. to be able to see down the road before we start emerging out to our left hand side um, we need to be able to see properly. So we've done the original pull up, okay, and we always pull up in a position where we're not blocking anybody off. So we're not blocking a driveway or anything like that. When we do the reverse, when we pull forward, we're gonna leave the car there. When we do the reverse, we're not. So when we do reverse, we can reverse to a point where we are blocking somebody, but only because we're moving off again. So we're not staying there. We reverse back about two car lengths. This is about three or four in this position if we had been, say, pulled up behind the black van. <coughs> but we've now got a good view of the road ahead, okay? Mirror check, mirror check. Keep an eye on that right hand side. We've got a good look over our left hand shoulder. And then keep an eye on this mirror as we're looking forward. Mirror, look forward, mirror, look forward, mirror, look forward like this we've done that check over our shoulder to the left hand side we've looked at our blind spot but we're looking in that mirror okay and ahead of us now because it's a one-way street and i didn't see somebody coming okay then we didn't really need a signal but if you feel you need a signal even though you don't know if anything's coming or not then put one on because that big black van is obstructing our vision okay and it could be handy to put that signal on now, one way street, you need to signal. I'd always say, yeah, just put one on, okay? You don't know, somebody's just moved into the area, is walking down with their kids, and doesn't know that this is the left only zone, a left only turn, okay? Well, it's a one way street. You're not just signaling for other people, you're signaling for other people like behind us, traffic and cars and such. You're signaling for pedestrians as well. Kids who might have been taught, you know, look out for that signal. That's a one way street most of the time here. I mean, they might get you to do a parallel park, but the probability is they're going to get you to turn right, okay? Good mirror checks as you're approaching this uh, bike lane in the middle. Getting that signal on and moving over to that right hand side lane. Okay, as we're approaching, cover that braking clutch. I've only ever seen it where once somebody tried to come down here as we're on this side of the road. Okay, the kid did really well, stopped beforehand. Okay. As soon as we can get back over into our position try and do so for all these oncoming vehicles it's nice and slow okay mirror checks is going around these parked cars we're going to go left down oldstead avenue off the gas again when we can't see as soon as we can see back on the accelerator again again okay see the, the, this, this part this vehicle coming up to where it was on to my side didn't really need to be okay coming over the white line we're going to be taking this second road on our right hand side Mirrors nice and early. Start moving out away from these parked cars as early as you can do without causing any obstructions to the oncoming vehicle. Make sure it's nice and straight, okay? And here is one of the common things is for people to turn too early. Don't. Make sure you get that wing mirror in line with that white line. You don't have to turn that slow if you can keep going and you feel comfortable. But really, really kind of looking and leaning and looking down the road as much as you can do. Again, wing mirror in line with the white line in the middle of the road. Try and stay straight. That's why you want to come out nice and early. 
to be straight so you're not obstructing that traffic straight wing mirror alongside the in, in line with the white line in the middle of the road okay and that's your turn you're going on to your side you can see much further down the road you can see a lot better once you can see that's when you do your turn as we're coming down here again they might get this pull up on the side of the road okay i'm not going to do too much to pick these pulls up on the side of the road because i don't want to be you know making these videos and you know for too long okay as we're coming up to this bend i'll be off my gas cover my braking clutch okay really coming over to that left hand side nice and slow as we come around here show the examiner that you're aware of this area show them that you're aware that something could be coming the opposite way like here now okay i can't really be on the left hand side so i'm gonna do that i'll slight two of my horn just in case really coming off the gas covering my braking clutch looking down the road before i start turning being aware of that van on the left hand side of me and coming in normally what i do there is try and get over onto my left hand side But obviously, cut it on that one. As we're coming up, as we're approaching the bend, I'd be here off my gas, covering my brake, covering my clutch, looking for any reflections of oncoming vehicles. We're in the middle of the road because somebody could be just shooting down. People just don't take into consideration anybody coming the opposite direction. Going right at the end of the road, again, nice and slow on the approach. Really leaning forward, looking, covering my brake, just emerging out that little bit. Okay. Now, just back there, I could only see that car right at the last minute, okay? The vehicles on my right hand side were obstructing uh, my view. They're obstructing their view, but they're also guarding me, okay, protecting me from an that, from that oncoming vehicle because that oncoming vehicle is already out into the middle of the road, okay. You can't help but try and emerge out as slowly, as carefully, and observantly as you possibly can do, okay. If you have to stop because that vehicle looks like it's coming too fast, then do so. We go right at the end of the road. Okay, making sure we've got these mirror checks. Slowing down on the approaches. Being aware anybody's shooting up from your left hand side. Okay, we come from a 30 zone into a 20 zone there, okay? Always making sure when we come up to something like this. This is quite a busy area, yeah? All right, cars can be just bombing it through. Always make sure, okay, that we can see down the road before we make that decision to come out, especially if there's other vehicles going in beforehand. right turn of 20 zone okay nice and slow wing mirror more or less in line with the white line so we can see down the road before we can start coming in you could cross that white line in the middle of the road you could get marked down for it okay Do a nice sharp left turn, okay. It's a bit of debris in the road, all right. Uh, carry bags just off the gas again. Cover the braking clutch, let the car roll around these uh, corners. Just off my gas, just letting the car slow down, being aware of this sun coming range over. Really nice and slow, just let the car slow down, covering the braking clutch. Let the car do most of the work. And I, no, again, we've got, I could see that there was a white van, but 
you don't know what's coming down the road. Okay, go onto your side before you make that uh, that call about going over onto the wrong side of the road, crossing that white line. Okay. And I know there's going to be people, be people out there who go, oh yeah, well, you could turn and gone off the white line a little bit earlier, made more progress into the road. Yeah, but we're on test, okay? We want to do things correctly. As we're coming down here, again, another one-way system, all right? We're going to be going right at the end of the road, so mirror checks to the right hand side, the main mirror, right mirror, and slow it right down, okay, coming over. Just because it's one way street doesn't mean that there's no one on a spike coming, going to be coming down or anything else like that. Really lean forward, really looking, really showing that examiner that you're aware of how much you need to be looking. <coughs> Again, another left turn. Off the gas again, cover that brake, but be aware, looking down the road, seeing if we can see anything nice and early. Don't worry, it's a real tight road, okay? Just going 109 miles an hour, more or less almost stopping. Great fan, don't worry about it, yeah? You're showing that you're aware that you're ready for anything. And hopefully, you know, if this black car to my right hand side hadn't been there, the speed at which I was going at, okay, was enough for me to. Either A, stop, or B, keep on going, okay? Okay, another area down here, all right? They might get you to pull up on the right-hand side, so we're gonna do that now. Got a mirror check, mirror check, and if there's no one on coming and there's no one behind us, just move over as early as you possibly can do, okay? And just slowing it down, okay? And making sure we stop before the driveway. Okay, well before the driveway. If there are oncoming vehicles, okay, then yes, we're gonna we're not just gonna pull in front of them. If there's no one oncoming, don't hesitate, okay? Get your mirror check on, get your signal on, move over, coming at a really nice line like I did then, okay? And then we're gonna do that reverse. Okay, make sure. Okay, we do a really good look of our right shoulder, back through the back window. Okay, any oncoming vehicles, if they're oncoming they're close to us, we stop, we wait. Okay, don't worry too much about the vehicles that are coming same direction as us this way. Okay, the ones in front of one, bother about. Now even there. Okay, so I'm explaining everything, all right. I, I, I was aware of what was behind me, but I didn't look over my back shoulder. Everyone can make mistakes. Try and solve it as soon as you can do, okay? Really good look behind you. Nice and steady, nice and slow. It's not a rush, okay? But the fact that I'm going so slow allows me to look behind me, keep an eye on what's going on in this mirror to make sure I don't hit the cab. Looking over my right shoulder, if you see I'm moving my body, I'm using the I'm using the steering wheel to push me over. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Little tiny changes, okay, if you do start coming out too much or whatever. And that's it, nice and easy. So we've got the vehicle on coming. Okay. That vehicle just passing us. Did I have time to move off? Yeah, well, maybe. Okay. Would have been rushed. Right. So don't rush it. Good luck. Okay, don't really need the signals. No one on uh, coming. And moving off again. Now we're just going to pull up at the same place on the left hand side. Not blocking that road on our right hand side. It's nice and easy. Okay. And we're going to leave it there for part two. Okay? Alright, I'll see you again shortly. Alright? Really hope this helps. Any questions that you need uh, answering, uh, if you can help in any way, leave a comment. Alright? Um, leave a question. Okay? Speak soon. Bye.